Yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Nagbushan Pai. I am a CA from Mangalore. Uh, so I have got a, a, a 10 years of corporate experience in which I five years I was working in IT department. And uh, then uh, from past seven years, I have taken uh, teaching as my full-time profession. So today, uh, through this uh, uh, hackathon, I'm going to present you uh, use, use of AI tool for big data analysis. Uh, see, I am uh, as a faculty. I always uh, try to take a very uh, simple case. So I'll just uh, give the very basic uh, example uh, how we can explore, how we can use the AI tools along with other resources. So I would like to uh, start my case with the what our ancestors did. See, when uh, our ancestors, like uh, we we have seen in this world, there are different species of uh, uh, like uh, living beings, horses, dogs, trees. We are also one of the species, and here every species has got a breed with its own uh, strength, its own uniqueness. We also have got our uniqueness, and our uniqueness is questioning and thinking. See, with this thinking capability, what we did, we integrated all the available resources around us, and we solved our problems. See, just like then, today we are surrounded by different species of technological tools. And each of the species has its own breed. And of late, one new technological to, uh, species has emerged called AI. And what we are supposed to do, exactly what our ancestors did, learn, understand, and use to solve our problems. That's it. So now I'm going to present you uh, one, uh, one scenario, one use case, how we can use AI tool or existing resources, whatever existing right now, in order to solve uh, do a big data analysis like for example i will take uh, one scenario where we have to test 10 lakh line items okay it can be 10 lakh or 10 crore 50 crore and it really doesn't matter which domain it is it can be audit test it can be forensic test it can be any gst reconciliations or it can be any other thing see what i have okay for example i will show you uh, okay so there is the excel data okay there is if you look into this there are 10 lakh line items or it, it doesn't matter for that matter. Now in this 10 lakh items, if I observe and I'm doing audit, see there are certain customers and there's no much deviation in their account. But if you see certain type of customers like Hindustan Motors, you see certain odd transactions here. And our, our job is to figure out such type of transactions. Okay, how do we do it? So now I have designed one methodology See, always it's the five step model. First, develop one sample data based on all the scenarios, whatever scenarios we can cover. Second, use the AI tools like chat GPT or any other uh, GPT to test the sample. Develop your own expectations. Compare your expectations with the, what the AI tool has given. And once you are happy that AI has understood you, then obtain the Python script and later run this price after some testing, you write this Python script on the live population. See, what I want you to see, I am going to present you the case which created a wow moment for me. And what I want you to get that wow moment and later you can develop, you can have a front end, you can specify the location, you can do so many other things. Okay, let me take you the same step-by-step -step analysis. So first step, I will go to one Excel file say for example, and I will create one sample data. See here, I need not share my data with the chat GPT. So my confidentiality is maintained. So I will give some random data maintaining the same format, same structure of the live data. I'll say that there is a customer one with only one type of transaction or customer two can have two transaction with the same value. Customer three can have two transaction with a different value. Customer four can have two transaction with one odd value. So like this, I figure out that there are, I have pro provided three odd transactions in my sample data. So there are some 35 sample transactions. Now what I will do, step one is complete. And I we have to be very good at it, all the scenarios. Step two, I will take this sample data to chat GPT. I will take the prompt. Okay, in the prompt, I'm going to define, look, give me relative size factor. What is the relative size factor for every vendor 
give me the highest value and divide the bit by the second highest value. It's one of the uh, technique to figure out such odd transaction. And I will ask ChatGPT to calculate that odd transaction. And in the meantime, I will keep my manually calculated output open. Okay, so ChatGPT is analyzing new this data. Yes, and it has given me some set of transaction uh, the values. So let me go back to my calculations. So this is what I have manually calculated for the sample data. And I find that yes, those three customers and what my chat GPT gave is perfect. And if not, then I will reiterate, I will go on. And finally, see, I need to ensure that chat GPT has understood me. Then I'll say, give me Python script for above where output to be in Excel with the name Python output. See, I'm now in step number four. So it's giving, it's giving me the Python script. Yes, so once the Python script is ready, I'm going to copy this Python script open ideally or whatever you can have a jupyter notebook or you can have a your uh, collab whatever it is i'll just save the python script okay so these are all administrative work and i will save this okay so i have created a two folder like script resting folder where i will give it as a rss script so now I need to compare. I will run this script. Okay, I'm running this on the sample data only, what I have already created. So I will go back to the folder where my, okay, this is already complete. I'll go back to the testing folder. Yes, RSF output I have got here. Yes, I find, yes, my RSF output is perfect. I'm very happy now. So now the script what I have developed. So I'm in the last step. I'll copy this script because this is my asset now. And I will go to the folder where the live data is existing, which I showed you earlier. I paste it. Okay, now I'll go to the Python. Okay, I'll close the script. Now I will open the script, same script, but at a different location because it is going to read the live data now. Open. Go to the desktop, go to the live data, run the script. See, I'm going to just run this script. Okay, so it will take around uh, one minute or 10 seconds. So in the meantime, I just, I would like to give an analogy. See, if I have a car, if I take an example of a car, car gives us so much empowerment. Huh? It gives us so much power, speed. But the problem is car cannot run on its own. We need a driver there. Who is the driver? It is me, my thinking. It is that intelligence which, in, which learns, which integrates things. It's the same intelligence which takes a lot of decisions while driving. Now my problem is I have to learn the car, I have to be focused and I find that it may not be a value adding job. And now you imagine a self-driving car. If the self-driving car is available to me, how beautiful my life will be. Okay, because I can just handle, I need not learn. I should learn very basics, like what, how to run the car, how to start the car, and let everything car, that car will take, it will take me to the destiny. I should just specify my destiny, what I want. So uh, this is where I compare a Python to the car, because Python is very powerful, very, very powerful. Because when I realized, I, I, I just, I was amazed. It was invented long back. But what added life to Python is this chat GPT. Because if you see here, this, there may be some 16 lines here. If I had to write these 16 lines, I should have spent 500 hours to learn Python. But today, I have got uh, my replica or my brain in the form of a chat GPT, which can give a better intelligence. Huh? Just like when you are driving the car, you encounter a river. You know that you have got a, your car has got a limitation. So what you do? 
your intelligence will load the car on a roro ship and cross the river. Exactly this is what ChatGPT will do. When it finds that Python cannot do something, it will team the Python with say Selenium or Guru Prism and it will run the, it will, it will help you to achieve the objective. And see, I have got this RSF output and please understand that uh, this has run on 10 lakh data. And this, it doesn't matter. Data is not a, a challenge and you may not have faced any uh, big data now, but uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we are bound to face this. And if you see, I have created only one example with one data, which is having a high RSF. And what we can do, uh, it has given me a correct RSF. And what we can do, we can check anything on a sample basis also. It's going to work out correctly. Okay, so I would like to conclude. Okay, our AIs are going to take us? Definitely not. Because say, for example, if I have got an AI-driven car, it doesn't go in the night without my knowledge, make some trips and make money. The reason is, with the grace of God, it doesn't have any intentions. It doesn't believe stories. And it doesn't have any kids or whatever. So it's only we have got, we have got hopes. We have got, uh, what is that called, plans for the future. So we Last will two minutes. And uh, yeah, with this, I wanted to conclude with uh, my presentation. And I hope uh, this case can be, you please explore. You learn Python first. See, it took me just 10 hours to learn the Python. But I could understand the uh, huge potential, what how we can apply in our day-to-day -day life and all. So this is what I wanted to tell. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Naga Bushinji, I think you presented a very interesting use case because uh, what happens, we cannot directly analyze big data in chat GPT. It often creates problems. And also there is an issue of confidentiality and privacy as well. So yes. the workflow which you shared with all of us that just shared the sample data and test it, get the Python script, and then apply on that big data and get the desired results. So from AI to RPA, you've created a great, great solution and it's a good insight for all of us thank yes. you very much thank you thank you okay so